What's up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Des. I go by Des B. If you're new here, hello. And if you're not new here, welcome back. I'm so excited to bring you guys today's video revolving around getting kicked off a Division I volleyball team. This is something that I need to break the official silence about, make a dedicated video to, as well as show you guys a little bit of my face, how I do my makeup, and what I use, only because I've been getting a ton of questions about it, so I figured I'd kind of roll them all into one with story time slash get ready with me. This is my first time really focusing on telling you guys what products I'm using, so bear with me if it's just not that good. If you are someone out there who is an ex-college athlete, a current college athlete, or even just someone that went through high school athletics and had a really crappy experience, I'm here to share mine with you and really understand where I'm coming from and relate very well. Before I get started in everything else, it's pretty evident that I have on this really cute shirt and I really wanna give a shout out real quick to my little sister. She is a Dottie Couture ambassador, freaking adorable. This shirt is a size small, code K20 for 20% off. I will have a full review on my channel next week and cut. Let's get started into this story time. I always get started with my Tula skincare primer. So this is the face filter blurring and perfecting primer. I have used this since it came out. This is the only primer I use. I love Tula products. There's no junk in it and it won't make you like break out or anything. So I use this and I immediately go in kind of in my T zone where I get the most oily, depending on the time of the month is when I'm most oily, use that. I'm also going to be using my Riley Ray Co scrunchie. This is a small business that I found on Instagram. A follower sent it to me and I was like, I must support. Here we go. So blank canvas. Oh, I forgot my blender. Hold on. Okay, we're back. First, I'm going to start with my foundation. I use Tarte Shape Tape. It's it's not focusing. Tarte Shape Tape Double Duty Beauty, and I am in light medium honey. To be honest, I don't know what color I am. Don't really care. That's that's where it is. Basically, what this video is for is honestly to empower those of you who came out of college. Really, Jax, you can't be up here. No, no, <laughs> get down. Please get or lay down lay down or get down not you now not you Reggie so basically this video is to Reggie no I'm working no get down here we go basically to empower those of you who might have gone through college sports and have been screwed I wanted to share my story because one let you guys know that I'm not perfect and life sucks sometimes Two, kind of explain how I got into what I'm into now and then three obviously again helping those of you who might have gone through the same thing in some way shape or form and can really like feel me on this subject and with maybe what happened to me in my situation as I'm putting on my foundation lately I've really tried to go around the brows mostly so that when I fill them in there's not a ton of makeup on them I also do kind of like try to go around my lips but sometimes it doesn't work I just take a baby wipe after and wipe them off next I'm going to put on my concealer I'm using this Tarte Mud Marca Kuja Maracuja creaseless concealer is the color light medium neutral. So you want your concealer to be a little bit lighter than your foundation so that you can get some natural contour. And I do put it in like these four zones of my face. Getting off of the volleyball team resulted in a lot of trauma in my life, but also was super embarrassing because for so many years and maybe up until even right now, a lot of people like in my hometown or that I did go to college with think that I got kicked off the team for like something illegal or like I did drugs or you know got caught drinking or I, I got an MIP or so, something like stupid you know but I'm finally just wanting to kind of to be very honest clear the air and really share my experience because I feel like it impacted me way more than I thought it would and again if there's anyone out there that I can benefit by sharing and help I want to be the person to be able to do that because I know how how bad it hurt me next I'm going to set all this with my Kylie Cosmetics setting powder in the shade soft pink it all started in 2014 I got on 
and volleyball team. It was lit, it was dope. I was so proud of myself. I was so happy. This is a dream I had been working for for years. My goal was to play and I told everyone that I was gonna do it. Okay, like you doubt me now, like watch me, I'm gonna do it. So getting on the volleyball team was awesome. I did play a little bit, like I worked my ass off as a defensive specialist. Really at the end of the day, like I was just a huge cheerleader. I loved that team, I loved being a part of it. If you ever came to games, boy, you better believe I was on the sidelines when I wasn't playing, <laughs> um, going hard, cheering on my teammates, cheering on program that we have, and just being so excited to be a part of it. Season goes on, everything was great. I didn't play as much as I wanted to, but I knew that I was gonna come into spring season really just hauling ass, getting super excited to play. Spring season comes around, I'm playing a lot more. I, my game is just getting so good. I'm picking up stuff, I'm finally seeing the full court. The game is so fast in Division One. You're playing against people that are like six foot 500 and I'm tiny so I'm here you know rocking and rolling in the back row feeling great making plays just feeling proud of what I've accomplished and pushed through after not playing for a long season and wanting to continue to get better at. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my natural palette natural face by Too Faced. I use these two colors right here to kind of blend into my contour. Let me set the scene. Last day of spring season we just got done two days prior maybe having a little scrimmage. During that scrimmage, I balled out. I, I was making some crazy plays. I felt like I really stepped up, you know what I mean? Like, I was like, wow, that was like a really elevating scrimmage for me. I was super proud of my game. Another game comes up, we play like maybe four games. After I had just like killed it, all of a sudden I was, I was benched the whole time. I was a turd about it, but I also was still like cheering on my team, but I wear my emotions on my sleeve, so you can tell when something hurts my feelings, and that really hurt my feelings, because I didn't really know what went on, or like what I did wrong to get benched and not play. After that, I'm on the bench, I'm kind of a turd. Nothing was really said. A few days go by, I wake up. It's the last day of spring training. Like literal, we have conditioning, we have lifting, and we have our practice. Then I get called up to have my spring exit meeting. So basically, this is a time and place where your coaches sit you down, ask you, you know, hey, how did the season go? How did spring season go? Where did you improve? What is your feedback? Where do we need to go forward to be a better athlete? I'm now gonna do my brows. I'm going to do them with my Kai brow and my Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I'm going to finish with my NYX Tinted Brow Mascara, and then I'm going to define my brows with my Double Duty Beauty Shape Tape in Fair Light Neutral. So I walk up to my exit meeting. I knew in my heart I needed to express my concern about being benched. So I wanted to express how I want to be a better player, what do I need to do, whatever. As I was walking up there, I thought, you know what, I, I probably just shouldn't say anything. I'm gonna hold my tongue because I love being a part of this team. I don't, I don't need to jeopardize that because this coach that I was playing for has a record of kicking people off the team slash driving them out of the program in some way, shape, or form. So I walk in, we are having a conversation for maybe about 20 minutes. At the end of the conversation, somehow it gets brought up that at the scrimmage the other day, I had a bad attitude. Remind you, I am the freaking cheerleader of my team. You would never catch me having a bad day, but that one day that I kind of got upset and was extremely hurt in my feelings, she brought it up. Instead of applauding me for the other times and telling me how great of a cheerleader I was all season and you know all of that anywho she brings this up and it it kind of triggers me right I'm like you know what that's it I need to say something I need to get this off my chest I need to express how I feel so using what I learned in communication classes I basically broke down I started crying and I told her how I feel really left out because there's certain drills we do during practices that I don't get to be a part of because I'm not serve receive or whatever and it's like I told her basically, very calmly, I, I'm not cursing, I'm nothing. I'm just crying and I'm expressing to her emotionally how hurt I was that I felt as if I couldn't become a better player because I wasn't allowed to be in certain drills. Literally, sometimes I would just serve 
all practice. I would not pass one ball. She wouldn't let me in any serve receive. It sucked. Like all I did was serve. My serve was great, but that's it. Like there wasn't a chance for me to better my skills with being on the other side of the net. So I expressed that and I told her that. She sat there and listened to me and kept nodding kept nodding her head like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, listening to me. So I kind of like kept going, you know what I mean? Like I'm like, okay, she's kind of understanding. I'm gonna, you know, continue to urge her. And I, I brought up my friend that I played with and just kind of said how her and I really want to just be, like we love this team, whatever. Get to the end of me rambling and she goes, I'm gonna ask you to leave. So I'm like, what? literally in shock that she just asked me to leave. She didn't respond to like literally anything I said. But walking out of the office area, I I'm I start bawling and I'm kind of like, I don't know what to feel. I'm, I'm in shock. I get down to my teammates. I express to them like, oh my God, this is what happened. And they told me all of my teammates, literally all of my teammates, including like seasoned veterans told me, oh girl, don't worry about it. Sometimes that happens. You just have to roll it off. I promise you'll be fine. She'll get over it in the morning and you're completely fine. I'm like, okay, you know, you're right. I didn't say anything wrong. I didn't do anything that I wasn't allowed to do. I spoke when I was asked to speak. I didn't uh, cut anyone off. I, you know, whatever. So I was like, yeah, you're right. Like, it'll be fine, whatever. We'll, we'll talk about it in the morning. So we wake up, we do our final sprints. We do our final everything. And I'm actually warming up on the bike. She passes through the locker room and I'm like, <laughs> Nothing was said. We go out, we do our last conditioning, everything. We're stretching on the floor. So I'm, I'm sitting here, you know, I'm like, oh, yeah, stretch, final conditioning. Done. Which if you guys do college conditioning, you know it sucks. Finally, I'm gonna go in with my Kylie Jenner highlight. This is in Santorini. Oops, oops. So after I'm done stretching, I'm sitting there and Oops, I didn't want to say names. Our strength and conditioning coach tells me, hey, um, wants to talk to you. Damn it, I said I wasn't gonna use names. Hey, she wants to talk to you. I'm like, okay, all my teammates look at me, they're like, don't worry about it, you got this. I'm like, okay, you're right, I'm fine, I got this. As I'm walking up there, I think, could I get kicked off the team for this? I get up there and she is there with my other coaches, like the assistant coaches and goes, really applaud your honesty yesterday. I'm glad we could hear something, you know, like how, what's been going on. Okay, sorry, last step. I'm gonna go in a little bit with my bronzer again and my highlight and do my brow bone. So she says, you know, you are strong-willed. We respect that, but you highly disrespected our program and we no longer want you a part of it. I was literally lost for words. When I tell you my heart dropped, my heart literally fell out of my butt and I, I literally couldn't speak. For eyelashes, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Voluminous False Fiber Lashes. Literally got this at a drugstore. And then I'm going to use my Benefit Bad Girl Bang. I was blown away. I didn't know what the hell was going on. I don't even remember at that point like what I even said. I do remember that I did apologize and say, you know, I never would want to disrespect this team. I, I love being a part of it and I tried to speak very calmly to you and I remember at this point I started to cry again. I don't remember what then was part of the exchange but she basically told me at that point, you know, this is non-negotiable. So at that minute, I was just completely blindsided. Like while I was walking up, yeah, I thought, could I get kicked off the team for this? And then I literally thought, no, there's no way. Wonder if she's just gonna A, expect me to apologize or B, actually apologize to me. I was incredibly wrong. After that, she asked me to leave. We wish you the best of luck. Toodaloo, basically. I remember getting up and walking away and first off being like, you 
for making me do all the sprints this morning and finish conditioning literally dead as a dog and then tell me that I was kicked off first off. And second off, I was so blown away, I didn't even believe that it was like literally happening. I was like, no, there's no way. I walk back down into the locker room and all of my teammates are sitting there, you know, anxiously awaiting me to come back. I come into the locker room and I just fall to my knees. I'm hyperventilating. I'm just so hurt. My teammates were like, I'm going to go talk to her. I can't believe she did this to you. At this point, if she would have been like, Des, we're sorry. We want you back a part of the team. I would have absolutely done it. I love that team. I love that team. That was my team. Like we had so much fun together and that was like, that was my squad, you know? After that, I end up having to literally go to classes all day. I'm bawling my eyes out all day. I'm wearing my volleyball jacket. I'm so ashamed. I have my volleyball bag. Like, my locker has to be cleaned out by the end of tomorrow, and that's it. That was literally it. I'm gonna finish blending my neck a little bit with just my little hula mini bronzer. At the end of the day, I was just kind of like blown away that this had just happened to me, and after that, I really never heard from her again or like anyone. They just went on without me. I mean, what do you what do you expect? But like that's how fast you're just removed from a program. The next weekend, I remember I started drinking like every weekend. I went out every weekend. I still hung out with my team kind of, but then they got into summer season and then I was just kind of like left out. And that's where I really came to learn the gym and Sorry, last last step, I promise. I'm using my Kylie Jenner setting spray and just like a fan I got from Thailand. That's when I came to find fitness, the gym, my actual passion, my lifestyle that I developed, and it all started with CrossFit. That's kind of my story and how I got kicked off the team and why, literally that's it. It was, a, it was one conversation that I just might have caught her on a bad day and it ruined the rest of college for me. Like at the end of the day, it was a blessing in disguise. God always has a way of taking you through the worst to give you the best. And if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have started my business. I wouldn't have been able to go to Ohio for my internship. That led me to fitness, blah, blah, blah. So if you're someone out there who either A, also got kicked off a team, or B, has had a coach just ruin a sport for you, I'm here to tell you that bigger doors are opening for you. One thing that I'll never forget my coach said to me was, you think you're a lot better than you are. And that stuck with me and still sticks with me. Every time I get in a situation where I don't feel like I belong, I get that. Or maybe I start to get really confident in myself. I hear this voice in my head saying, you think you're a lot better than you are. And I'm really trying to break a part of that. So if, again, if you've had something said to you from a coach, from someone just of importance that you looked up to and loved, don't let it ruin your whole life going forward. Bigger opportunities can come. It's all about how you look at the situation and how you step into it. I know that this video wasn't like ideal, but again, I just wanted to share my story because I think it's very powerful to show that one small event that I I practiced for my whole life to be on that division one stage I gave everything I could to volleyball was gone in a second and led me to what I feel is my true purpose and my true passion I'm so glad to have you guys here to kind of vent and share that story with I'm not here to drag anything I'm not here to drag anyone but the situation sucked ass and I hope that if that coach is watching now, know how hurt I was, know how much I didn't mean to hurt anything, like to say the wrong thing, but thank you for taking the time to overanalyze what I said to you and kick me off the team because I am now able to make a living doing exactly what I love and coaching people in health and fitness and making them feel loved, making them feel important and making them feel worthy of success. Thank you for teaching me that lesson through even my period of being just a volleyball player. Obviously there were some freaking great times in that and I do not regret it at all one bit. I loved my team. We got a Mac ring, baby. I'm forever a Mac champion. You can never take that away from me, but I do miss the sport daily. Thank you guys for watching. I hope again, this just shine a little bit more light on kind of my past time, a really big traumatic event that I went through and how obviously I've bounced back and what I've created out of it. So if you haven't already, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and click the little bell so you never miss a video from me. <sighs> 
I will see you guys in next week's video where I will also be reviewing the clothing that I have on right now. Thank you.